here for um, heart catheterization lab so uh, stay tuned We're, we just checked in so uh, settled in my room but uh, more to follow on this I had mild angina pains the last couple of weeks so gonna go in and have a, an angiogram and probably some stints or whatever put in so more to follow Hi, this is Tim. Welcome to Active Life 60. Today we're going to chat about health and some of the warning signs that we may have when we're over 60 or even younger for that matter. So we're here at uh, Deaconess Medical Multicare in Spokane and we're going to have stints put in today. The last time they just did an angiogram and then he he wanted to back off this uh, my cardiologist and do a, a surgery consult but we're gonna go ahead with a couple of stints. So yeah, um, eight weeks ago, I didn't have any problems. And now I have a little bit of angina when I exercise after eating. So it's just gotta know your uh, your um, signals, you know, of, of when things aren't right. So with me, it's just a, a little tickle of angina, but I know what that is. And sure enough, I have a 95% blockage and an 80% blockage. So it was a ticking time bomb. So I've had this done 14 years ago. But just, uh, you know, uh, we all got to know our bodies and know when things aren't quite right. So I uh, went from a picture of health, I eat right, exercise, and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I had a, had those kind of blockages. So uh, luckily, I because I'm an existing patient from, from years back, I, you know, could get scheduled rather than going through a big, long um, referral process. So anyway, they're going to do this here probably in a, in a couple hours from now. And... We'll catch you on the backside. So this is uh, uh, it only takes about a half an hour of, of a process, and they go through the wrist now. So, uh, but a couple of stints, uh, um, and uh, we should be good to go for another few years. So, well, the surgery went well. I was delayed several hours uh, the day of surgery, so I didn't go until late in the afternoon and didn't get out till about 8:30 at night. Um, anyway, I had two stints put in uh, on the left heart artery which is the most common um, and, and post-op care is is fairly straightforward it's it's just a day surgery so take it easy for several days and and uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, letting your wrist heal because that's where they go in so it's uh, it's just you know a couple of light days but uh, we're, we're back and back in action now so I had a similar occurrence uh, 14 years ago. I was just shy of 47 years old. Uh, mild angina uh, after eating lunch and then walking back to the office and walking up several flights of stairs. Uh, I don't have heartburn or indigestion, so angina pain, even though it only lasted a few minutes and then went away, was is, is abnormal for me, and I knew that. Uh, that was also my dad's warning signs back when he had some artery clogged artery issues. So it's important to uh, do not ignore the warning signs. Uh, at least that's my story. Now, m m my warning signs, angina pain is is one of the most common, but not everybody's the same. So you got to kind of know when something is a little off. Uh, in my case, it's a it's a mild angina, so I knew the signs. Uh, so I've been going to. Uh, annual cardio checkups uh, for 14 years ever since uh, I eat right uh, exercise obviously very active I take a statin drug uh, control the cholesterol all of those are in normal range and so yeah I'm not overweight I exercise I eat right and I still have uh, 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 um, artery issues so it can happen to anybody so uh, case in point eight weeks ago I was cross-country downhill skiing Nordic track workouts, heart, heart um, um, pulse rates up to 140, 150 a minute for, for up to 20 minutes and, and no issues. That, that's what you typically have in a, what they call a cardio workout is uh, about 80% of your, uh, your max heart rate. I had no issues eight weeks ago. Four weeks ago, slight angina pain after eating breakfast in the mornings and when I would go out on my active dog outing, 
Uh, so go check out my active dog outing on, on Active Life 60 and, and you'll see what I normally will do that every morning with the dog. And I felt angina pain so I knew what that sign was.